didn't switch properly or we didn't switch hard enough, we didn't switch up the play. We turned the ball over a little bit too much every time we missed a layup, which we missed a lot of layups. They ran out. They're, they're really devastating. We got to make layups, don't turn it over, and do a little bit better job mentally just stand up on people. Mike, Brian Smith, Chronicle. You, you mentioned the mental, mental lapses, uh, especially in the second half. Did you just notice too many turnovers and yeah. time for you to maybe make a run, get back in, and all of a sudden it's, it slips away and right. they're up by 10 again? Without a doubt, and, you know that's what they're they're good at. They're they're, they're obviously champions for a reason. We gotta we want to beat them. We have to be mentally sharper. Um, KD's gonna get. He's tough. I mean, obviously he was on tonight. Hey, you can live with that, but you can't live with that and then make mental mistakes. And that's what we do. The combination of the two is devastating. And we'll get that better. We'll make some adjustments on uh, little things that we can do better. And uh, kind of play. You know, knock these guys out. We gotta play a lot better offensively also. Mike, uh, Dan Wakey with the LA Times. I think yesterday James said that the getting home court advantage in this series was a focus for about a year. Is there? Any, are you concerned at all about there being any mental ramifications to losing a year-long process? No, in one no that that no, no. Obviously, we lost, and now you know the next most important game is Wednesday. See if we have a short memory. We can't think about this game other than making the adjustments. But we're gonna come out and win the game on Wednesday, and then uh, see what happens. Uh, we can win here, we can win there. It's nice to have home court. You don't have it, we got to go go get it. We lost it against Utah. We went back and got it. So it's not like, you know, we haven't done it. Uh, it'd be nice if it was a storybook ending. Hey, you win every home game, you, you go to the next round. But, you know, it usually doesn't happen that way. Coach, stepping up a song from ESPN, your scheme of consistently switching on defense, can that really come back to bite you with a player like KD? Yeah. If you don't switch, it's going to bite you with uh, Curry and everybody else. So they got a lot of biting. Uh, they switched on us, and uh, obviously they did a little bit better job or whatever. We couldn't, you know, uh, James torched it. Uh, but no, that's not going to bite us. That's the only way you can guard these guys. We just got to do a better job of it. Uh, and then we have to, just too many times, we just, little things, just here and there. We weren't more quite tough enough. They, I think we ran out of gas a little bit in different sp spots. and. Uh, they did. They, they, they played well. Uh, Mike, uh, Shane Young, b breakdown. What did you think from what, about Clint Capella's first half defensively? Clint's, Clint can play. I mean, first half, second half, I mean, he, he's, uh, I mean, he's probably maybe our best perimeter defender to be inside. I mean, he, he, he guarded really well. I thought, I thought Clint had an excellent game. Jonathan Fagan, Houston Chronicle. So with them switching as much as they do, were you able to get, can you get enough open threes to sort of keep pace for their scoring with the other guys, not Chris Well, you know, uh, we had 37 let's see what kind of shot quality that was. There was a few that we had to hoist up at the end of the clock. And we can go a little faster. We can do a few things to speed ourselves up a little bit. Got down the shot clock too many times. Uh, we got to avoid that. Um, but yeah, we can, we can, yes. For the answer to your question, yes. Mike, Marcus Thompson with The Athletic. Do you like the defense that you did get on KD? I know some of those shots he made, but th did you like how they approached him? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, you know, he is seven feet falling away, and uh, he's one of the best scorers outright. So uh, I thought he was ex extremely good. But, you know, we can sustain, we can withstand that. We can't withstand, turn the ball over, missing layups, them getting out. Clay Thompson got up 15 threes. Can't get 15 threes. We're switching everything and staying out for that reason. Um, so we have to clean up some stuff. And see if we can do it on Wednesday. Uh, Mike Melzer, Sports Radio 610. Uh, Mike, when Trevor Reason picked up the fourth personal foul in the third quarter, did you consider taking him out of the game at that point? Yeah, I considered it, but you know, I'm not. Uh, you know, I don't even think he fouled out, so it doesn't really matter. You, you got to play, and I trust Trevor. I just picked up his fifth foul, you know, quickly, but. You know, I thought Gerald played really well, came in, and so, you know, one of them, you know, about the same. But Gerald, I thought, played real with great energy. Uh, we just got to, like I said, we got to play a little bit better, but I don't think that influenced the game. And, you know, I wouldn't have left him in. I thought it would have influenced even if he picked up his six. And we got guys. And I was going to play Eric and Chris and James down the stretch anyway with PJ and stuff. So. With the athletic, you mentioned Clay Thompson getting up those 15 threes. A lot of them were wide open. How, how well, that's the problem. That's why. How, how, just, how, you, know, so. you know, with the way Nick Young got to, we didn't come back and pick up uh, uh, a little bit that, a little bit that. 
you know, we just made some mental, we rotated the wrong guy, just little things like that that we can clean up. Mike Mark Schwartz from ESPN. 21 of Kevin's 27 attempts were from two. When he gets in the mid-range in the post like he did, just how, how difficult a defensive assignment is it for you to kind of decide what to do? Because he was beating small guys, big guys, and everything. Yeah, well, difficult, the difficulty for any, anybody. I mean, he's that good, but it's like Chris Paul in that mid-range. They're going to take those. We can't allow them to take, you know, uh, the threes, that wide open threes that they have. We can't allow, you know, we had 16 turnovers, they're nine. We can't allow, I don't know how many layups we kind of missed and they ran out and that's where they got a lot of open shots. So there's just a bunch of stuff we can clean up. We will. Wednesday we'll attack them and we'll go after it. And KD's going to be KD and he'll be really good. But uh, I thought PJ, you know, did all he could do. Trevor did all he could do. I thought Clint guarded pretty well. Uh, so, you know, he's, he's that good. But I'm not, as they're probably not worried that much about a part, and he's going to get his points. And that it's the other little stuff that uh, you can't withstand everything. You got to do something, take something away. I don't think we're taking KD's mid range, fall back, seven footer, shoot shots. I mean, you know, good double, but then that's, that's great. I think that's a pretty good player or something. And secondly, is it discouraging to you to see James score 41 points and you still lose by double digits? No, I'm going to just go talk to him. He needs to get my 55 next time. <laughs> and that would not take care of him. I'll just have to tell him that. Mike, Max Edison with the Houston Defender. Can you tell us any insight on the health of James? One time, once he came back in after getting hit in the abdominal area, he seemed like he didn't have uh, very much lift on a finish. Uh, can you talk about his medical condition and uh, any any residual effects of that punch in the abdomen? No, I don't think so. I think it's fine. You know, you have to ask. I, have, I didn't notice anything bad. I mean, obviously, I, he got a little tired, but, you know, we're riding him pretty good. So, I mean, you know, he ends up at 41 and 7. And, you know, it's pretty good. So, I think he'd be all right. All right. Thanks, guys.